With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So we have to factorize the given expression and the expression given to us is we have 64a cube minus 27b cube minus 144a square b plus 108ab square. So this 64a cube can be written as 64a cube. 64 is nothing but 4 cube a cube so it can be written as 4a whole cube similarly 27b cube can be written as 3 cube b cube which is equal to 3b whole cube so writing this 64a cube as 4a whole cube and minus of 3b whole cube and the rest terms as it is minus 144 a square b plus 108 a b square if we see this whole term clearly we have an identity of a minus b whole cube which is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3 a b into a minus b so with possible signs we have this identity and we have writing this 4a whole cube this will be a cube minus 3b whole cube this will be b cube and now we will create this minus 3ab into a minus b so we have taking minus 36ab common if we take minus 36ab then we have left with 4a because 36 into 4 is 144 and minus of because here is minus so minus minus will be plus and minus of we have left with 3b because 3 into 36 is 108 so this is this term here written is 4a minus 3b whole cube if we further split this 36 a b we have we can write it as 3 into 4 a into 3 b that is equal to 36 a b so this whole term is exactly the expansion of 4 a minus 3 b whole cube so this will be the answer thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.